Hello and welcome to Simple Man Outdoorsman. I'm going to be reviewing products and trying to give you the information that I would want to know if I was purchasing the product myself. I hope you enjoy. Simple Man here. I just wanted to do a part two of these Cameron Haynes Under Armour boots. Uh, I've had them almost a year now and I just wanted to kind of do a part two. I've learned a little bit more about them. And I just kind of want to show you up close what they look like after a year. You know, not too bad. Um, they're not completely destroyed. They did fairly well. I have two edition um, pros and I have one pro and one con to add to my last video. So everything's kind of still intact everything's still looking pretty good try to get you guys a pretty cool background um, not the greatest lighting but uh, it'll have to do for now so the I'll start with the con um, and it's kind of a big one it's one that I'll talk about why it's a big one it's so when I when I cinch it up the last three or four months now uh, it is making a noise and it's has to do with this material and this material I believe uh, is making a, uh, a squeaking noise and I'll I'll play that for you right now so that's definitely a con uh, as you can see if you're trying to stock an animal um, that could come into play um, depending on how close you are to the animal so that's definitely a con. One pro that I kind of noticed the last few times I've gone out. So I really like to loosen up my boot, untie my boot when I get in the truck if I'm traveling, you know, a little bit way, a little bit of ways. So having this, you know, easily to pop out, pop out, move your foot around and it be loose. And then let's say you, you know, need to go do something else. You know, you cinch them up and click it in and you're good to go. So it's a little bit easier getting in and out of the truck, uh, you know, loosening your boot and tightening your boot. So that's a pro. Um, but the last thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, is this boot after a year worth um, buying it again? And with the noise factor and it just not, not being you know, not being, I guess, a a $300 boot. If it was a, a $185, you know, I probably would maybe buy it again. Um, and, you know, but with that noise and it being $300, I'm probably not going to purchase this boot unless they do some some changes um, about the noise and the the overall quality. The toe, I will say, is, is lasted... Um, I mean, it, it does, I do like that design. It takes the brute of the force of most of your travels in the, in the mountains. So that, that was a good call on that. But if, if the noise, um, doesn't get fixed and the price still stays that same, I will not buy this boot again, but it's, it wasn't a total disaster either. So I hope this review helps you. Um, have a good day.